it's Ali welcome back to another AliExpress craft haul I'm sure you all know by now but I do these videos around every month and there always seems to be a lot of packages <laughs> as with all of these videos all of the links to the products will be in the description box in the order that they appear in the video if you want to go and check any of them out I'm guessing you're ready to open all of these packages with me so let's get started okay so first package we have these semi translucent sort of beads little seed beads they are super small and i got several different colors so there's this yellow there's this burgundy color which is really nice and a gray i went a little bit mad buying quite a lot of seed beads not entirely sure what i'm gonna end up using them for but you know there's always project for everything <laughs> huh I forgot I uh, ordered these <laughs> these are sort of a suede cord there is a pink one and a mint green one I thought they'd be great for using on tags on cards or adding little bows there's all kinds of different ways you can use these and they're very handy to have in the stash I thought these were pretty cool. They are little star embellishments. I've got some gold ones and some silver ones here. And they're super teeny tiny, but really pretty. And they're quite 3D. As if you can see that there, they are quite dimensional. So yeah, looking forward to using those on a project. They would be really, really fun to add to a night sky background, I think. Really nice um, and great for Christmas, which is why I got the gold and the silver. Oh, these are really pretty. So these are sequins. They are dimensional sequins. So they have the raised edge, but they don't have a hole in the middle. So these ones are like the hexagon traditional sequin shape. And this is like a mix of different colours and sizes. So there's pink in here, yellow, blue and white as well. I love the fact that they come with all different sizes. I've spoken about that on my channel before that I really like that. And there was a bunch of different colours of these, so I also got the sort of clear iridescent ones. So these are just round, they don't have the hexagon shape. And there are lots of different sizes as well, which is great. And then this one is like an ivory semi-opaque one. So I've seen these two in, they, I think they're quite trendy at the moment in like card making subscription boxes. And the prices of them are just... Uh, quite expensive in my opinion I don't like to pay like I don't know for, for, for I feel like four pounds for some sequins is too much and these are like a pound or less so and they yeah they all come from the same factories so I'm just buying them directly from the factories so yeah really like those really look forward to using those on cards I'd actually forgotten that I'd got these so I'm quite happy they've turned up today so I can uh, use them on some projects very soon really pleased with those lovely happy birthday die there i really like when there's two different fonts on a die i've probably mentioned that before about five thousand times <laughs> but i just really like this one happy birthday die is always a classic to have in the stash especially a nice big size like this that's going to take up most of the front of a card so all you need is a nice background and then die cut this from some nice glittery or mirror cardstock and you're you're good to go so yeah big fan of that one So there's this one, which is a bunch of poppies. I thought that was really nice, really perfect for a focal image for a card. You could do a nice 
messy watercolored version of this or you could color it in traditionally you could heat emboss it i think there's loads of different ways you could use this so i really like that one and then there's also this one which is an echinacea or cone flower and these are really trendy right now there's like a really popular dye set i think by honeybee stamps that everyone seems to be using this one reminded me of that kind of vibe so i thought i'd uh, get these two these are really pretty there was quite a few different ones on this store lots of different flowers but i just like these two the best and i already have a lot of stamps so i'll try to keep it to a minimum <laughs> it doesn't always work more sequins i feel like the colors i buy are always very random so <laughs> these ones are more of a matte sequin i thought that was really cool i mean they're not completely matte but they're like i guess frost rather than clear or really shiny so i really like the muted colors of these so we've got this nice pale yellow this one is a purple and these ones are a little bit more see-through and then this one is like a peachy apricot color so actually they look really nice together don't they that would be a really nice color scheme for a set of cards i think whoa these are fun these are sequin mixes they are all tiny little stars there we go super super tiny little stars so you get the insides and the outsides of the stars if that makes sense like the, the outline and um, this is a mix of colors really nice one they're really iridescent as well really catch the light lovely and then there's also this yellow one which are all the same color i can't get over how sparkly they are aren't they lovely oh i feel like they would glow in the dark <laughs> they are so sparkly my camera is having a really hard time focusing so you know you know it's sparkly when that happens <laughs> really pleased with those now these i thought were really cool and i'd not seen before so they are a couple of sets of dies and they're meant to layer so it's going to be difficult to show you um, what they look like but this bit is a separate piece so this is for the background this is the sort of foreground here and then this one is the back layer so this this piece comes apart as well so you can cut the whole edge out and then you have this piece for the back then the fox and then the trees at the front. Now, I probably didn't describe that very well at all. So I'll try and put a picture of the example on the screen as well so you can see what I mean. But I thought they would make absolutely gorgeous bookmarks, but then also great for cards as well. And there's two different designs that I've got here. So this one is like a fox and a night sky. And then the foreground is like all these flowers and a tree, which I thought was really pretty. And then we've got this one. So this one is more of a jungle theme. So the foreground, you've got this really cool tropical foliage here and again you've got the detachable border which is a slightly different border on this one and they look the same size so you could swap and change borders which is pretty cool and then you've got two more pieces here so this is the tiger and there's a little toucan there so that's the middle piece and then this piece is a piece to go at the back behind the tiger so that would cut out of the background so you've got your your foreground your tiger and then your trees would go at the top so again i'll try and put a picture on the screen of what it looks like when it's finished and all assembled so you can have a look um but i think these two would be really nice to make a little video on making some handmade bookmarks so i might see if i can do that in the near future because i think that would be a really really fun and easy project so yeah really pleased with those and um, they were a little bit more on the pricey side for die sets on aliexpress but i think they're so unique and you actually get quite a few pieces in there that i didn't really mind paying that i'm not seeing anything like this anywhere else some more dies this is a cool background panel die really like that these are all individual pieces so yeah, that would be really really fun to paper piece i think that one this is a nice christmas one got some holly here and some pine needles and then some mistletoe those would be really really cute for christmas time I have to remember to use those this year also this set which is a little coffee set so you've got your coffee cup here and your lid and then if you want to do a frappuccino there's a the lid there and the cream and then this is a little um 
kind of holder to go on the coffee cup and I'm guessing that one's a straw so this what this one would be really fun for Christmas cards I think or wintry cards yeah I really need to use some more of my die sets because they don't get a lot of love in my stash I have to say and then this last one oh this one's really fun this one is a little bouquet wrap for a bunch of flowers and then you've got all the pieces to make your bouquet here so you've got the little flowers you've got some sprigs and stems there is even a little bow to go on the front so i thought that one was really fun and i've seen a few different die sets in this sort of style so i thought that'd be really fun to play with especially to combine some of the other flower dies that i've got in my collection because i've got quite a lot so yeah that's a nice little selection of dies there oh Ooh. i feel like this one was a really good bargain because you got a lot of different colors for a very very reasonable price i think it would have been a couple of pounds and i think there was a bunch of different selections of colors available as well but i really like this selection because you've got some nice neutrals in here so lovely well i mean that one's not neutral but <laughs> i kind of count it as uh sort of neutral because i use this all the time and like my kind of matches my shirt today um and then you've got some bright colors as well but these are not like crazy bright colors i think these are really nice um color family here so i'm really really pleased with this um this is going to keep me going for ages and it's gonna be great for making little bows for my cards or tying on to tags which i really like to do on my cards i like to add a little bit of uh, ribbon or twine so yeah really pleased with that Ugh. these are tiny so we've got some more beads we've got some really super clear iridescent ones they're really nice and some pink ones um really pretty great for shaker cards or obviously if you're into jewelry making these are ideal um i'm more likely to put them in a shaker card although i've got so many beads now i feel like maybe i need to get a beading hobby <laughs> yeah really like those nice little little bags to keep them in as well which is always handy oh did you think we were done with beads <laughs> we're not again very haphazard color choices but that's okay so these ones are super tiny as well this is a lovely sort of iridescent translucent blue those are really pretty then I've got a similar one in a mint. I quite often go for the mint and pink. Can you tell? We've got a lovely bright pink here. Really like that colour as well. There's a baby pink as well. Those are really, really nice. And then this last one is a colour mix. So we've got a bunch of different colours in here. Really nice combo. Yeah, these will be really good for shaker cards, but I'm sure I can find lots of other ways to use them as well. Love those, nice colours. So these are not beads, these are tiny little dew drops. Now I have seen things like this before. Um, some of these are absolutely tiny, it almost looks like liquid in there, I mean it's, it's not. I was having a look at some of the nail art products on Aliexpress because sometimes they can be a good sort of size for card making as well but there's some really really tiny ones in here, I can't believe, how am I going to pick those up? <laughs> But I thought this would be perfect for using like little dew drops on flowers and on any rainy scenes. Yeah, I, th I think these are actually, yeah, they're spheres. They're not flat backed. So just to warn you, but um, I think if you put a little bit of glue, they would just like stick straight on because they're so tiny anyway. So oh. that's a satisfying noise. Anyway, uh, yeah, I like those. even more beads these are similar to a lot of the others so we've got a kind of almost opaque white there those are really nice a little bit of iridescence really pretty and then this one is like a mix um, they all have sort of blue green purple kind of tones in there those are really nice as well more colors for the collection I got some uh, fabric similar to this before, but I really like these prints. I thought they were really pretty. We've got some daisies there. I love that neutral background. That make lovely little 
bows and all sorts. And this is another floral. I guess this is sort of still like daisies, just a little bit different. The printing on that one's not as clean, but that's okay. Yeah, really like those. These are really good to die cut because um, they're quite thin. So, and they're sort of a, there's a little bit of texture. It's like a slightly coated canvas, that, if you're interested. So yeah, nice patterns. We've got this stamp set and there's also a matching die set. I don't often get the matching dies for stamp sets, but I really liked that these had like little stitching and like little panels and <laughs> just thought that was really cute. Um, you could easily die cut these and then stamp these little panels on and stick them on the hat and I just thought that was really sweet and fun so um yeah cool baseball cap this is definitely like a more masculine stamp and die set so great for like dad birthdays and stuff don't have a lot of masculine themed stamps and dies so i thought this one would be a good one to add to my collection yeah nice one that i think that'd be really fun to make some cards with Okay. <laughs> yeah, I went a little li little bit sequin crazy this time. <laughs> so there's a few different types in here. So these ones are sort of the translucent matte ones that I showed earlier. Um, I think these are just the different size. There's lots of different sellers that do sequins on AliExpress and they kind of all have different ones. So I got from quite a few different sellers. So there's this lovely sort of pale pink peachy pink i got a black because why not didn't i have any black ones there's a baby pink and this sort of darker pink here so apparently i was going mad for the pink but you know so that's that kind there's also these which are like a solid opaque sequin so i got these in the yellow the purple and the sort of this is a nice teal again those go really nicely together don't they it's always accidental when i get colors that go nicely together but you know happy accident as bob ross would say got these ones as well i can never resist this kind of color with the pink and like the gold reflect i just have to have everything in that color and then these last ones have actually got little stripes so yeah i really like these i thought they looked like tiny little donuts um, so I got those in brown, in pink, and in mint as well. Lots and lots of sequins this time. This is the very last one. Tape on this one. And the final thing we've got today is some paints. These are mica paints, so they're really, really shiny. Aren't they fun? I really need to crack out all my AliExpress paints and swatch them all because I've got some absolutely gorgeous iridescent ones like this. They had quite a few different selections. I went for this lovely pink and purple one. That's uh, my favourite one there, definitely. It's got like a gold reflect. And then I also got this blue and green one because I don't think I have very many blue and green iridescent paints. You know, that's obviously a great reason to get them. <laughs> but yeah. I've got these ones, um, I've also got these sets which I got ages ago and still haven't tried, I must get round to doing that, but I think these are slightly different. These are definitely like hand filled, um, made these look more like they've been machine filled, but you know. So yeah, I'm really pleased with those, these did take quite a long time to come, but um, they came really well wrapped as you saw, so yeah, looking forward to giving those a go. That's everything in my haul for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what your favourite product was in the comments. This is a super colourful one this month. Those are my favourite kinds of AliExpress hauls. If you love videos like this, go and check out my playlist. I've got a whole load of videos just like this one. Exactly the same format, just with lots of different products. I'll put the link to it in the description box and I'll link it up in the cards as well for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up because that really helps my channel. And also subscribe for more because there's plenty more where this came from. Thanks so much for joining me today for my haul and I hope to see you back here on my channel again soon. Bye!